I just realised Sunday morning I'm at home, I'm in VR and I'm 3D printing. Am I living in the future? Speaking of which... SLA printing using resin is a whole new beast. It's quite different to printing with your typical 3D printer, something I've got very used to, which is great. I mean, that's part of the reason for doing it is to learn, learn new skills, learn how this works. So when I want to print things like plastic hearts, which are hollow and you can put a light inside them anyway, um, when I want to pr print detailed anatomical models, I know how to prepare them. So. Get in the hang of it, stuff's working, it's good. Where are you going, on the stones or the sand? I'm going to go all over the place. I'm going to start up here on that. Dry, dry, wet, wet, wet. When aluminium cans are left on the beach, this is what the sea turns them into. They look like pebbles, but they're aluminium pebbles. Come on, they? Nice. Don't leave cans on the beach, take your rubbish home with you. But yeah. it's aluminium, it does get returned to the earth. There's a storm blowing through this week, but we managed to get out climbing a couple of times. We went to Foxhole, it was blowing a gale. <laughs> that was fun getting up and down there. Um, and Foxhole is a it's a very steep crag, all the best lines are very steep. And I thought I might be getting you know, a bit of endurance in my fingers for that, and I think I probably did earlier in the year. strength training yesterday, maybe it's just because my fitness is rubbish. I think my fitness is rubbish. Good fun, good workout, which is what I needed. Let's go and do something easier up there. Much easier this route, no chance of getting a pump on it. Literally blowing a gale. Come <laughs> on, the blow on. Ooh. <laughs> 
But it's kind of off and on rain. We thought we'd come to Foxhole and uh, poke a few roots and see if anything was dry. Because it often stays dry, we've had a lot of rain. So we did, it's worth a go. First rule, turn up. <laughs> Blow hole down there. Smells really fishy. Woo. Yeah, with the lockdown and what have you, that fitness that I developed through the winter is is going, going, gone. The climbing wall has just opened again, but you can imagine it's reduced numbers and you have to book a time and that sort of thing. Um, so that, that fitness we developed over the winter, it's not really there anymore. Um, I suppose it's fine, it's just some of the routes I wanted to climb, I haven't been able to climb. I'll get there, but back on the boulders today just to feel a bit of movement get my fingers used to the rock just try and try and move well and pull well and also I got I got these newish shoes which are they're very soft I'm not used to wearing soft shoes I'm trying to get used to those trying to get a bit more confidence in those I might buy a new pair of um, La Sportiva Muras I like those um, those are my kind of go-to shoes but they're expensive these days if you're climbing the steep stuff up Foxhole, you do get a good honest pump. So good training, you know. You've seen me spend time on this before. It's it's the block at Caswell. It's just I'm just gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down. It's very boring. Just trying to feel it and move and you know. I realised that because we live here, I think the way we use the beach is quite different to how most people use the beach. Um, when the sun's out lying down and getting a suntan is like it's not even on the list <laughs> maybe like five lines problems none of them are that hard but they get harder as you go that way but by doing them over and over and over and over for about an hour not only does the movement get reinforced I find I, I do them a little bit differently each time but not only does making you tired help your muscles but as you get tired I have to really pay attention to my technique to get up them which is exactly what happens on a route. You get tired. So to get tired later, you need to be more efficient and have good technique. And then you need to get used to operating when you're tired and keep going and pushing through that pump and getting to that next jug and shake and rest and stuff. Yeah, something I learned from triathlon that was, yeah, again, you know, planning to be tired and how you deal with it, how you keep going when you're really tired and your brain's not working too well. Mm -hmm. Alright, see you next week.